Okay, in today's lesson, we're going to look at homogeneity of an equation. Homogeneity of an equation. Homogeneity of an equation is to find out whether the left hand side in it, it is equal to the right hand side in it. Okay, for example, let's say you're given a unit. Uh, v squared equals to u squared plus 2as so what we need to do is to look at the unit of v squared and if the unit of u squared and 2as is whether all these units are same okay so let's check it out v squared meters per second when you square it you have meters squared as 22 uh, u squared u squared equals to ms negative 1 squared and you have m squared as negative 2 um, 2 a s there's no need to include the 2 yeah to cancel out the 2 so a is m s negative 2 and uh, this becomes um, meters yeah so we have m squared so uh, the unit of um, v squared is equals to the unit of u squared and it's equals to unit of uh, a s so hence we can say that this equation is homogeneous okay But the problem with this equation uh, or this method is that um, we were not able to know whether constants like 2 are supposed to be in the equation or not. Because since 2 is a number or any other constant, um, for example, pi without unit, um, the equation or this method were not able to explain whether um, the existence of this uh, constant or not. So the only way to find out is um, from doing a proper experiment to prove um, or to show um, whether this equation exists or not. Um, for example, let's say you're given t equals to 2 pi uh, L over G. So we can show that this equation is homogeneous. Yeah. Um, for example, let's say the unit of s uh, t is uh, second s. So let's assume that two pi, of course two pi, there's no unit uh, meters. Unit of l g is m s negative two. Yeah. So and root square. So what we have is one s negative two. Uh, so s equals to s of 2 half so you have so it is homogeneous right but again uh, the question is whether the equation or this formula do, uh, is there 2 pi or 4 pi something uh, any other uh, constant so uh, one of the ways to do a simple experiment uh, first of all we have to change this equation to a linear so i mean this as t squared 4 pi squared l o g right and let's say i take a pendulum okay the length of l and let's oscillate this pendulum and get a reading of 
length period time for oscillation and t squared second squared and say that you plot a graph yeah t squared against l squared so according to the equation you're supposed to get a straight line through the origin and the gradient m is equals to 4 pi squared over g so from here we can validate uh, if we do the experiment um, with the minimum error we can validate the value of uh, g okay hence we can uh, validate that the formula do have 4 pi squared okay right so that's the lesson for today thank you